Hello everyone and welcome to Tonic Live with me Owain, me Alison, and me Daniel. Hello everyone and welcome to Tonic Live with me Owain, me Alison, and me Daniel. Hello everyone, it's Tonic Live. Tonic Live is live from Tonic HQ, Tonic Studios, that global papercraft brand your favorite <laughs> global paper craft band and um yeah we're here uh live and what we do on a wednesday at 4 p.m is we talk through something we're excited about or a brand new product that we've recently released and that's no different today we're going to be doing that with alison whelan the craft celebrity <laughs> herself she is here uh the crafty whelan the one she, who couldn't see through a glass the wagon since wheeler. five minutes ago <laughs> <The wagon laughs> <wheeler. laughs> She's here. She's dusted off her glasses and she's ready to go. Um, what, what show are we on? What tonic live is this, Dan? This is 146. 146 wow. will be a 147. 147, just like Snooker next on the next one. So. And then after that, I think it will be 148. And then 149. Don't know why that is a big number. Yeah. 150, wow. I know. Who would have thought it? Dear Time Lord. Passing. Time passing. Yeah. If, if we're doing it once a week that is potentially almost three years yeah so that's set <laughs> let's all take a moment and... what have you been doing for three years <laughs> <laughs> they're so old these are my hands <laughs> i'm sure there's a few more wrinkles on mine but there you go. <laughs> uh, yeah uh, so yeah we're, we're going to go through a make uh, you would have seen earlier at the start of the week with jody uh, live on uh, on creating craft started 7 a.m. bright early on Monday yeah. on bank holiday if you up that early and it's, it's gone on throughout the week and yeah we're going to show you a little bit more today what are we going to see Al? and you can catch it tomorrow as well yeah yeah it's a weekday wonder tomorrow. whatever they call them on there it's a week wait no what is it called it's a wonder week or something when, yeah. I can't remember it's the week it's tomorrow it's the, yeah, it, it lasts for the week <laughs> it's basically what I'm to say. <laughs> so uh, yeah uh, what, what are you going to be making today Al? Well, I'm going to be making one of our Venetian amphora boxes, but I thought I would doctor it a little bit so to give you more ideas of what to do with it. But I'm also going to show you how to make the Venetian amphora and a peridot box. If you haven't seen these, these are our new boxes. I know a lot of you have been waiting for these because I kind of sneaky picked these in the last magazine and we've had a few changes in our um our rundown of shows so they've been a little bit longer going out than we'd anticipated so apologies for that but they are here now so if you like them and you're wondering how to make them here we go yeah so i'm going to start with the venetian amphora and i'm going to show you how to make a little vase the traditional um Vase, jar, ginger jar, whatever you, you see there. Jam, jam. <laughs> jam jar. We've got a honey <laughs> pot. Jar. You know where uh, Winnie yeah. the Pooh honey pot? Yeah, it's a cute one. That was awesome. Um, we've had a lantern. Yeah, hot air balloon. Turned it upside down and it's been a lantern. Yes, we had the hot air balloon. Um, what else have we had? We had it's lots loads. of fabulous things from the design team this yeah, day. Yeah, all the inspirations on the blog as well. If you want to check that out on Pinterest, you can go on there too. There we go. So, how have I started? When you look at the die set to start with, it looks a little bit big and a little bit confusing and you're thinking, I don't know where to start you. If you take off your main dies, so this is your main die for the base and the sides of your box. And this is your, day, is your die for your lid. If you look at everything else on there, everything else on that die set is decoration. So however you want to decorate your, your jar, there's going to be something there for you to use. There's instructions, because I know sometimes once you've got your die set home, you forget what's there. So there are written instructions on here as well right so to make my little vase i'm only going to need two of the main die so i've already cut two of this die so here's your first one so what do we do next 
always a starting point is fold the lines so you've got lots of folding lines and think of it as your jar there's your base so your sides are coming up and then they're going to go in so that is how I'm folding all these lines so just crease them all gently they don't need any um, bone folder or paper creases anything like that they will literally just fold on their own the cardstock I'm using here is a 260 GSM your little fold tabs on the side just fold those in as well here we go uh, lots of lovely people with us um, thanks for the instructions in the packaging. Looks like our nagging paid off. It was about due, wasn't it? Like I think, uh, it was. yeah, you, you're right. You guys are always, uh, you're always right, pretty much in the long run. Um, and yeah, Swiss Family rolling since you're serious. It's raining up there. It is. But we're going to oh, get some. Oh, it's not nice here either. We're going to get like the best weather the UK has had in ages on the weekend. It's going to be warmer than Ibiza, they say. Oh. oh really? Yeah, but it's very cold in Ibiza, so. That's <laughs> really... No, I don't know. <laughs> So that's the shape you're left with. So we're going to pop. I would suggest that you glue these together. I have put tape on them, but the reason I've used tape is to make it quicker for today. Um, but I would recommend a wet glue. The reason being is because it's got a better grab. The glue kind of goes into the fibres of your card and holds it better. Whereas your tape glue just sits on the top. If it gets warm, no matter what tape you use, sometimes they will come apart. So I am going to use tape today just for you to see exactly where I'm gluing and how to pop it together. So, uh, we have got lots of people on YouTube as well. That's why I went to get my laptop. Dee's with us, Joanna, Bernie, uh, Bubbles, Janice, uh, Nima, Daisy, uh, Susie. Uh, CM Creations, Poet Spice, and Anne Redford. You, you do you keep it interesting with your names on YouTube. That's why I like yeah. I like you. <laughs> that's why I like YouTube. We haven't seen Lion Teen. Where's Lion Teen today? Love to see you on there. Awesome. Right. So I've just run the tape straight up the top. So I'm just gonna chop off any little extra bits, and in between, because I just find it easier than doing all teeny tiny bits that's just a personal preference of mine hey Nida, hey Catherine, we haven't got another bank holiday in June? no, can't not have another us. one, maybe it's an Irish one Catherine yeah. we've had two, we've had loads the one last one going there? yeah spread them out, innit? we had two in May, didn't we? we had May yeah. Day and we us for the spring bank holiday. Yeah. So just for the purpose of this little vase, the top tab I'm going to chop off. So we do that on all of them. A bank holiday in Ireland it is. That's it says Phil on there. So ah, what, what's right. um and America had a bank holiday on Monday, didn't they? They had um, uh, Memorial, Memorial Day. Day. Very rare. What's the, what's the Irish <laughs> one then? What's what's the bank holiday for in Ireland? Uh, Catherine, you'll know now. Um, and someone said something in. Oh yeah, Sue just put her glasses on. She was blurry before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it a bit be. like that earlier. If any of you are struggling just to pop see, that on yeah, pop, pop your glasses, glasses on. on. That's probably that might be it. Right then, so decoration wise, let's move them out the way and we can see what I've you used. There's so many dies in this, you get this awesome. There's loads, there's loads. And I have just used the outer edges for this one, just so that I could show you more today. So you may look at these and think, well those two are exactly the same. They're the same size, but they're different cutting surfaces on them. If you look at this one, the cutting edge is right on the outside of the die. This one is on the inside. So that means you're going to get a nice layer. And that's what I've used for this. So I've got a nice little border just around my, my pattern paper. I've done the same with the triangles. 
so again you've got one on the outside cutting edge and one on the inside so this gives you even more variety so that's outside that's inside and again it gives you the same little cutting edge get all lots of little different shapes in this one you exactly. get lots of bits for exactly. your exactly for your project so yeah thinking outside the box you, you can have lots yeah. of I mean, these I nearly are made fabulous. myself feel <laughs> ill, ill, Ill and seeing that. For um, little buntings, little pennants, yeah. um, lots little of little shapes like that. You're doing your minimal sort of stuff as well. You can use these little, I don't know what you call them, sort of little patterns, mini you patterns. You can, you can. Tiny ATCs you can do. Some of these will just put a pattern into the card. So this one is just like a pinprick pattern. This one is a little deboss pattern. So there's lots of different things that we've not done before with this one. And lots to play with. Uh, next kit unboxing as well. I think we'll do it next Wednesday, okay? So be next Wednesday, 4 p.m. We'll be unboxing kit number 23. Alright? Um and then Kim's getting ready for Zach's musical in Oliver. What is he? He's oh the fantastic. Has he got one of the, the big parts or is he just one of the I love Oliver? The lads that weren't running around one of Fagin's gang. Oh, I bet he's got a good part. I bet he has. Is it? No I bad parts in. Part. So I'm just going to put my dies in place. It's much easier to do them woo, while they are flat. Put up there because otherwise I'll end up wearing it. Much easier to decorate your boxes while they're flat. You can see is everything level? Where you're putting everything? Are my borders level? That's why I like to decorate like this. Uh, someone mentioned a hot air balloon set. It's not. It wasn't a hot air balloon. Uh, the set itself. It was this set, but it just had. It was shaped into a hot air balloon. It was shaped. If Cam's watching, you can maybe find it and post. I don't know if you can post actual pictures in the group, but if you look on the gallery, um, Cam, if you're watching, put it in YouTube for for the YouTubers. Uh, you look in gallery, and there's one on there. It's like sticks, four sticks going up from either side, it's and you've got awesome. a balloon created on top. Angela made that. There we go. So there's the bottom layer. So we're going up a layer now. So I've used that layer of shapes. Now we're going up to this top layer. And the die I've used for that is just again the plain one. The clue is the bit of tape I've left on it. So I've used some pattern paper again with some little flowers on. Because I wanted to tie all these in with the pattern and the flowers I was using. Uh, you can use the vases, so it says, first, what do you use the vases for, or vase? They could be chocolate. inside, they could be chocolates. I would recommend that you do put something inside it, actually, because it gives it a little bit of weight. Um, I would fill it with chocolate, sweets. Um, so, you, so you want it to stand that, yeah, because if you can't see now, you know, it's not sturdier step it's there. not if if you want it it's sturdy in terms of the structure but it's just the balance on the bottom because you've got to just well, what, how would you would you put some weight in the bottom of that like, well the one i did for the show i actually put some magnets i had an old magnetic oh, cool. sheet and i cut them into squares and i glued them together and stuck them in the bottom and that's only just a little bit of weight just to hold it steady yeah and you could um the other thing you could use is you know the glass beads that you've got loads of in your house and you think i don't know what i'm going to do with them but i'm not going to throw them away a couple of those in the bottom would be fantastic just to wait it um do you mind moving the finished project there we go there we are there you <laughs> go cam's, cam's done it he's put it in the vlog we lay it down by there um what else would i put in my vase what about if you've got some seed packets that you can plant in the garden this could just be a joking flower that you've made of the seeds um some little tools you That's know it. you can get tools that you can do you your pot nice, plants with you could have a nice uh, pen and pencil pot if you wanted you for could. your desk if you want your stationery good bits and pieces there yeah you've got lots of lots of little things anything tall and upright you can use it uh, and put it in there or small you can check it in there too so we're going up again now to the next layer so the dies i've used for this and even this has got a layer is this little one here i've just used the teeny tiny one 
in the middle there. Like a letterbox shape it is. It is. A little bit like that. And this card I'm using, if you had the craft kit with the woodland walk papers, this is the wood effect paper that we had. Uh, we'll have lots of lovely papers in the kit next mm -hmm. month as well for you, uh, and you'll be receiving the, the, the kits from this month's 22's uh, craft kit. It's closing, it usually closes on the very last day of the month, towards the end of the day, so best best get on there if you haven't yeah. got your kit yeah this is probably the closest you can order it and then receive it so yeah if you order it we're dispatching it on the first will be monday um about the third the, the, the nearest day to the first we dispatch it okay so popping this together now as i say i would recommend using a wet glue but for speed i'm just going to pop it together right i've done the one join that's it for a minute then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to make a cut from the base down to the edge there so we've cut the bottom open this side I don't need at all so that can come off don't worry how rough this is you're not going to see it so this side then I'm just going to cut at an angle and this I'm just going to make into a square so that is the base so we've gone from let me just show you we've gone from that shape to that shape so if I show you again you cut from here to here that goes then you cut that way and you cut the end off and that is what you're going to get so you want a little bit of a square with a triangle. So then we're going to glue these together. Uh, Freedom 99 Purple says, Hi, how many panels can you add to the Venetian Amphora? Could I add more and make my own basin lid? Is or is there a limit? I haven't tried more. I did think about it today, but i got to be honest, I haven't tried more. So that's going to be one for you to have a go and let us know. So then I'm going to pop the other one in place and I'm just going to glue these together. Sharon says two best days of the month, craft kit receiving day and craft kit unboxing day. That is it. <laughs> they uh, are. And they both very close together. They are, day. yeah, they are. There we are. So there's our box as we go in. So I'm just going to bring the other side around and I'm just looking now what I need to cut off. I haven't bent that, that's why it's not coming round. Uh, Christina missed the beginning. No, this is the Peridot and Venetian boxes. We're just going to show some kind of construction makes of them. They recently launched in the UK so uh, on Create and Craft TV. Um, yeah, they're one of our dimensions rated, so our boxes. So if you are in the US, um, you can order them, uh, I think, from Create and Craft. And they do dispatch out there, and they'll be available on our website then within, thir well, after 30 days, because that's the exclusivity we have with uh, Create and Craft. Um, I have a question about the mic mist uh, in the big, big bottles. How do you keep the sprayer working and do you sell just the pump? We don't sell just the pump, but have you tried taking the sprayer off uh, and washing it in, in warm, like soapy water? Try that. We've got a video coming where Jen Cray shows exactly how to clean and keep your spray bottles in perfect order and just maintaining your Nouveau stuff to give them longevity. Uh, so I'll check on that, but yeah, just give it a wash uh, first and clear it out and just spray it through... I can't exactly remember because we recorded it too long ago. She sprayed it through, I think maybe with distilled water or just practiced. Just any um, water. Just, just any, water, any and, water and just sprayed through and just gave the nozzle a, a good through. Because those mica bits, when they've been left in there for a little while, they can clog a little bit. So it's just due to the density. They of tend them. to clump together. Yeah. And that's what clogs you. Yeah. Just in the way that they stick to the, the card, they can do that. So yeah, just give it a, a bit of a push through and then warm it and thing, and they should be working order them for you again. There we go. So there's my box as it is now and all I've done I have just chopped off one side of the base again so now we can pop this all together so stick my last side in place don't worry about the shape of the base at the moment because when all the base is glued you'll know you'll see exactly where you're trimming off open the two side flaps Push in the, the square one that you've got and then a little bit of glue on these top 
these two side pieces and they will come in don't worry about gluing them properly at this point it will it will all come together a little bit of glue on your panel then and this panel I think I've, that's it there we are that is the shape of your panel so you've got a little bit extra on the sides at this point but we're not gonna I'm gonna leave that dry first and then we'll chop them off because everything that is excess there we're gonna cut off so how do we put the rest together now so again take your tape off the sides now I start at the base and I go around in layers so start at your bottom layer just think of it like a helter skelter and you're going up in layers that's the easiest way I find to do it so your next one and just keep going uh, yeah, yeah uh, what we got so do we still do the mini mister I don't think we do the mini mister anymore the, the little ones we got like a little spray um, the sparkle we've sprays we've had a mini everything. spray in the kit though yeah if you've had a kit and you've used all your spray you can always rinse that out yeah and fill it and refill just uh, it's about it Mickey happy birthday on the 5th uh, to you or the 6th actually and then she says how big is the base once it's finished the base of this one yeah hang on then I'll give it a measure there we go so we've done the first layer if I measure this one, this base is just about one and a quarter inches square. Okay. So that'll be one and a quarter will be about three centimeters. So which which one did they use? I'm just checking that that image there. So this was that the that's Venetian? the top. The top is the Venetian. Amphora. The top is it? Yeah, is the Venetian one that we're gonna we're gonna see soon. The base is actually the square bottom from this yeah so if you click that link um yeah it's a it's a mixture of the two together and they've used to create that that hot air balloon there you click the link on youtube and you can see that i could put it in facebook as well as well there we are so we're going round to the next level now and we pop in the next ones together you were going to take more time than i am putting this together but just keep working your way around. Phil wants um, wants a hint about Kit 23. I haven't even seen Kit 23 20, myself. You give me a hint, Phil. There we what, are. What, what do you think? <laughs> what so, do you think it might be? Last one now. Just pop the the tape off again, and we're up to the top now. That one's done. And we're nearly there. Oops, my tape doesn't want to come out. There we go. Paul's with us. He says, Hi, Alison. Half term, so actually be able to watch you live. Oh, are you, Paul? Are you not? Are you in the country for half term? I'm quite impressed. <laughs> or are you holidayed out? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Paul was in Cyprus for the last oh, holiday, was he? yeah. Oh, fair play. There we go. No, nope, one more, I think, and then we're done. There we are, last one. Right, and the top ones then. Oh, come on, you diddle. Yeah, she's eating West Wales at home. At home this time. I bet Paul is crafting like fury there. <laughs> He's into his memory books at the moment and having a whale of a time with them. So that's how far we've got. So we've just got the top layer now, and then it's just a little bit of glue all around and pop these inwards. Reason being, I wanted a bigger top and also it neatens all the edges. So these just tuck in and just hold them for a couple of seconds for the glue to grab. Yeah, that was Paul who came to the workshop, wasn't it? Um, yes. Yeah, he was a good. Yes, he was a good Paul help. and Judith came. Fair play. He was all like all over the the shop, just trying to keeping everything running. 
me, used to it. Me and Dan were like fully full of spare parts on the day. <laughs> well, you got, why? Did, has he got a shot? Have you got a shot, Paul? No, Paul's a teacher. Oh, that's why. That's yeah. why he was used to the, the whole the whole day. He teaches little ones. Oh, yeah. uh, there we are. So this is Paul's chill out time. This <laughs> is, I guess, yeah. We've all got a reason for crafting, oh, whatever you, you it is. You get summer holidays. Let's not be, let's not feel too sorry for it. <laughs> for Paul, how, what, what, what are you doing for your summer holidays, Paul? He'd be on holiday. He'd be on holiday again. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'd love a six week holiday. I know, I know. That is the one there. There we are, so that's all stuck. So you can see inside my little box. And then trim off the edges with your scissors. Because I'm not sure I like anyone well enough to give them this gift box. That's okay, there Mickey. You, you may never. You know, <laughs> there's your gift box. So my flowers then I've popped onto skewers. You can colour the skewers to make it look like a stalk. Um, and these are made with our um, petunia dies. I brought them down to show you. Perfect petunia. And I've used the large and the small. Depending on which paper you use or cardstock. We're having a bit of a lean here, I think. I haven't glued it very straight, so I do apologise. I've stuck these on acetate, and then you get them a little bit more bendy. But you do definitely need to make sure you weight the bottom if your flowers are bendy, because they will pull your vase. Well, you could do some, you know, like one of those exploding boxes that you kind of see. You could. And really sort of expand your yeah. bouquet and, and go, go You mad. could build an exploding box around that. That mm. could yeah, just yeah. be the centrepiece. Yeah. And then you could put real flowers in this, providing you put your flowers into plastic. Um, or you know you get those little like file bottles, you know, like yeah, a chemistry bottle. You could put a lovely single rose inside there, suspended. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then could. um you could put other things in it as you well. Do lot, you know, you could do acetate, that kind of box as well. Could be a ring with a proposal in it. Could be a ring with a proposal, yeah, yeah. So these are exactly the same petunia flowers, but I've done these out of, um, these are like copy paper. And I've put a couple more layers, but they're exactly the same flower. So don't be misled by only one shape from your flowers. You can change them, you can manipulate them. Lots of things you can do. And I didn't even have time to put a little crystal drop in the center this time. It's been one of those days. Woo! Oh, just as you said that, the cook and the yeah, it just like... fall off. It was agreeing with me that it's been a bit of a man. Well, I think it was, yeah, lovely. It'd be lovely sort of for a for a desk for someone you know you love who's in the, the office all day. Something just nice for them. You know, exactly. you could have a little birthday message, maybe inside or on the back, or a could have a flap which opens up and it says happy birthday. Lots of stuff you can do. Like seriously, you put a cactus in it. Because you could do. Loads of stuff. Oh, yeah, Craft I saw this on Quit and Craft. Would be lovely with washi paper. Would look like a Ming vase, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. that'd be cool. Do it blue and white, and it's like a Wedgwood vase. What you, what you could do, like, well, maybe one for Paul. Like, if you're doing a, a primary school sort of thing, you could do, like, everyone make, do one from a different place around the world, like a different, different vase. Yes. You could do, like, an African sort of vase, or an Aztec vase, or an Egyptian vase. You could do loads of things and just create, like, a global vase <laughs> collection so i'll show you i'll show you how to do the bigger vase so you you get an idea of um of the different sizes so again you need three of the main shape for this so do your folds first again because i find it easier and no no bone folding nothing just your fingers they don't need anything extra again i tape them just for speed more than anything um but again i would definitely recommend a wet glue there we are uh, so what's the name of the set and where can you get it well these are the peridot and venetian gift boxes and they just launched on create and craft on monday and create and craft tv is a uk shopping channel 
uh, UK TV shop and John, but they sell online and they've got good prices on global shipping. So if you do want to order from the USA, you can. There's so many dies in the set. I think it's like 50 odd in this one or something like that. I don't something like that. There's more because I know I go by the front of the pack these days. Because oh, rather than count them. There we are. But yeah, there's uh, lots of dies, lots of dies in each. Yeah, 58 dies in that one, and then you got in the other one. Slightly, slightly, That's a smaller one. slightly smaller. You only get 37 dies in that one. So the box we're using at the moment is your Venetian Amphora. Um, just in case this is the one you're looking at. But I will show you how to make the other one as well. I'll show you one of the versions anyway. It's not, I'm just not going to have enough time. It's one of those days, you know, where you, you've got no time at all. So there's my three bases. Oh, no, I haven't. I thought I creased them all then. Ah, oh, silly me, you know. Well, yeah, if we don't finish more, we can show maybe one on Friday as the, um, like, when you drop the flag for the start of our craft battle, <laughs> you know, with, like you say, start the engines. Yeah. And uh, we could do that. I should have enough time to get the two of these done. I've prepped it already, so I'm not so bad. There we go. So I'm just going to show you the basic shapes now, just so you've got an idea of where you can go with these dies. There we are. I think these boxes, mind, are all in the decoration, I think. Because... You know, as you can see, there is such a lot of decoration on there. Well, so you've got all these panels to play with and see what, you know, see what you want to create. There we go. Right, I'm ready to go. So I folded all my fold lines. And um, how do these go together? Let's shut that up a minute. The lid is lovely. It's like a lovely hexagon on the. On it the is. It. It's really nice. It is. So these overlap. So when you put these together, glue your three bases together and they'll all fan out like a sun ray. So a little bit of glue to start with. Oh, I've missed a bit there. there yeah, what, a genie urn would be cool as well. Yeah, that would be nice. Genie would be good. Yeah, he says with the new Aladdin film. Mm. Anyone seen it? I haven't seen it. You, you uh, go and see quite a few films, don't you? You've seen them when they can. I went to the... Um, to see a concert on Saturday. Fourth Court? No, he was in Calcutta. Oh, okay. It wasn't exactly what I thought it was going to be, but I did enjoy. What was it? I went to see Only Men Allowed. Oh, yeah. Um, you, thought I you, mean, th you thought he was strippers, did you? No! <laughs> I know what Only Men Allowed is. <laughs> it's a choir, Al, okay? I don't know. Because they didn't even take their trousers off. Well, one of the men that was in the choir <laughs> used to be the pharmacist on the ward I worked on. So I've known him for a long time. Um, but I thought he was with, for some reason, I thought he was called my beyond something, which is a male voice choir. It wasn't called my beyond anything. It was the Corey Band, which is a brass band. <laughs> <laughs> which was a little bit unexpected, but they were really, really good. So... My grandfather and my father would have been so proud of Did me. Did they know that you played the... Um did you play in school? The violin. No, not the violin. You played another instrument, didn't you? No. The brass didn't. one. No, and it I was didn't. big. No, my grandfather. Or the cello. Oh, I tried the cello. <laughs> yeah. My grandfather actually played the um, oh euphonium. Salmon. You know, like the big tuba. Yeah, yeah. The um, oh, oh, the um, <laughs> the um, the um, <laughs> yeah. He played a smaller version of that. Oh, cool. I I like the but idea. But he could play anything. I bet. Other than a trombone. Amazing. Right, so here we go. Off we go with the tape. It's like off with the head, isn't it? <laughs> round we go, just build it around. Again, I find it easier to do it in layers. So we'll do the bottom layer first. Um, but yeah, they, they were really, really good. Um, uh, so Christina says, sorry, these vases or boxes, they can be either, like whatever you want them to they be. Are Totally. They're a vase, they're a box, they're a lantern. Um, anything you fancy. Uh, Mickey says, uh, oh, I just like three projects. I can see him putting one together. I'm I'm up for it on, the, on Friday. If we want to do these on Friday, I could do that. 
the rattle um, and the Cory Bank. They were on TV this week. They so. were on TV. Yes, they were. <laughs> Which was nice to see them again, because they'd actually have missed folding one year. So I could do it on the hoof. Um, they're actually quite a local band as well. They're from Tom Pedra. Nice. Yeah. I've got, to, I've got to look these up after. Like, we, we should start our own. If everyone can play an instrument. Please don't say we can right. start a band. We'll, we'll have I'm the, now getting the, the violin tonic, out. The Tonic Studios <laughs> band. And if everyone can put in the comments what instrument they would play in the band, the first person to say that instrument gets that instrument. I think. And we'll, I'm not we'll doing a cello either. Sue, so how many? You're on the oboe. So you're on there. We're sorted. 11 and, oboe. Absolutely. Sarah's on the tambourine and triangle. You can't have to, you can't have both. You have to share. You yeah, have to you, share you it. can have a percussion. What, what, what do you want, Dan? What are you going to go? Uh, there we go. Are you back to the triangle. Yeah. You can have the triangle then, and Sarah's on the tambourine. Uh, <laughs> Raquel's going to play the drums. Awesome. We'll, we'll do them all in paper. We'll have a paper mm. paper set. Oh, what? Kaleidoscope. Yeah, and the kaleidoscope drum as the drums. So there's the start of your box. As you can see, it's a lot bigger now. So now we go in upper layer. So I'll tape off for the next layer. And I thought I'd folded all these. I've missed a couple of them. How very rude of me. Um, Christina, you're on the flute then. Um, but Paula, you're on the saxophone. Uh, Susan's waiting for a tonic calendar. She's only waited three years, so uh, <laughs> I don't know whether that's. Is this it? <laughs> um, you definitely want a double bass if you're going to be the tonic calendar. <laughs> yeah, <you definitely>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cigar, but I wish, innit? <laughs> cigar box guitar. Um, so, yeah, cigar box guitar you can have for uh, so <laughs> Oh, dear me. <laughs> I just think of um, Calendar Girls, Bigger Bones. <laughs> <laughs> that is quite a good film, Calendar Girls. I love Calendar Girls. I think it's so, so funny. Eh? And so hard hit in as well. Yeah, yeah, it is. There we go. So I'm working around the second layer. And we're nearly there. A showcase for Monday. I'm not too sure. Um... We did summer last time. What should we do? Any thoughts? What's coming up? What's coming up? I don't know. Um, <laughs> Are you summer too early? Maybe holidays? Something like that. A holiday theme, but that's quite a lot like summer. That's summer, that is. Um, uh, right, June. I don't know the date in June, but Father's Day is coming up. Father's Day. So a, a man's so, card, all right? Yeah, something. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a, da a Father's Day card, but it could be the man in your life. Yeah, the man in your life or a male that you like. So now we're going up to the third layer now. A and, male. And if you don't like any males, then. You don't, yeah. You, it doesn't or have a to be a male card. Female, you like. It doesn't have to be a male in your life, it could just be a male. Exactly. In existence. Yeah. It yes. could be. Uh, it could be a dog. Uh, could, be could be the be dog. The man in your life. Could be a celebrity that you think, oh, I'd like to make him a card. Would you send it then, though? Have you ever sent a card to a celebrity? I have not. No, well. No. Oh, yeah, just, go on. just just open up. <laughs> just tell us. <laughs> you know, it's no, nothing to be embarrassed about. Just tell us. I haven't. I haven't. Mm. I've never. That's too much. I thought people did that back in the set. You know, like when people well, re people 70s. read like Bunty and whatever, and, and they did. And they no, did I wasn't a Bunty. No, 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 Jackie. <laughs> I thought, I thought, I thought that's Jackie. what people did. They, no. they wrote letters to like. It was favorite. Twinkle first. <laughs> My sister had some of these, some of these bags. Did she? Did she? Have no. She had, she had bunt like eight. Twinkle like, can still be going. Like it's sort of an annual thing. My mum bought it for her to say, "Oh, look at this." Remember, the, this was like what I had when I was a girl. I don't think so. That Santa was card, yeah, exactly, Santa. Um, Justine will do a Christmas card. Justine will do a Christmas card every every day for that special Next Father Christmas. Next one, we're up to our fourth layer. So as you can see, they've not taken me that long to pop them together. They will take you a little bit longer to glue. Um, maybe get some of those teeny tiny pegs and just hold them as you go in. So we just 
again just tootling around the box nearly done yeah it shows it a gender neutral theme card there you are we'll have to think of something maybe a bit catchier for the name mm. but we'll say like a unisex card or just say yeah gender neutral e card yeah why don't, why don't we just have a, a free Free choice. You always say free choice every time. You say free choice every well, time I say to you. Uh, well, all right, we won't have a free choice. Yeah. Well, maybe a card. I don't want any makes. I want cards. <laughs> oh, God. No what about a 3D then? A 3D then, yeah, go on. A 3D. A 3D. Right, so your last layer now is going to be standing proud because this is what your lid is going to sit on. So this one stand it's a little bit of a different shape and it does stand proud of your vase whereas you can see they're all going in there now they start standing up um who have you said uh christine shepherd said i sent a card to stephen king after i read christine wow <laughs> her name is christine as well yeah. so I don't. <laughs> Some people, do, you know, they do reply to... Well, it was more fan clubs and things when I was young. Well, it's not. If you email, like some people, they email, you know, you write to people on Facebook now and they maybe reply. Or you sure. write to, like, people tweet people and stuff. It's not that much different. That's mm. true. It's just a different way you're doing it. There, there was a video, like, there was a video a while back. He was like, the Ringo Starr was getting too much fan mail. Do you, yeah. remember, do you right, remember that? yeah. And he's like... I'm just telling you, I'm not going to reply to any more I fan mail. I remember that. Stop sending it. After May the 25th, I will not respond. And he's, and he's saying this, which, you know, fair enough, he's probably answered it most of his life. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I think they did a joke about him in The Simpsons. I think it's like, you know, uh, oh, when Marge sends him the, yeah, the yeah. painting, yeah. There we are. So oh, there's awesome. your box. As I say, you were probably going to take a little bit more time and a little bit more... Um, effort than I have going round there. So the lid then, if I pop that over to the side, your lid again, do all your fold lines first. I just wanted to show you how quick you could do them basically. Like what you you'll see with these boxes, the same as when we had the cathedral box and things like that, it's the, yeah. the shape of the bends in the box itself, yeah. that's what you you're going to really like from the construction then you can go wild and create whatever you but helps create these really nice lines that you wouldn't be able to get unless you were measuring so precisely and doing all that i wouldn't even think of starting it's this. all doing it's all done for you but yeah so what i'm doing now i'm folding the little tabs in there we go so there's the shape of your your lids you can see now all these little shapes are going to fit in the top Oh, the other thing we had was a money box. Yeah, a money box is a good idea. We had a money box, didn't well, we? Well, loose change. Everyone's got a loose change. Sort exactly. Of it doesn't have to necessarily have a lid. Even. And if you've stuck it all together, you're not going to be tempted until yeah. the very end, <laughs> when you can't pick it up anymore, to open it. Yeah. So, just take your tape off or your glue and put your tab, line your lines up, edge of the tab to the line, and then work around and this is going to be your lid to go on your box whoops do you know there's always static in this tape it does it just sticks to you on it it's stuck everywhere this is three mil tape i'm using here the lid would take a little bit thicker mm. but the box if you are going to use tape you probably need three mil tape Christina's asking, I wonder about the dies you had on last week. I cannot find them. What are the names of them? What did I have last week? We made it in kit last week. I'd forgotten. I think we did Tonic Craft Kit. It's the Tonic Craft Kit. They haven't been... We did that Friday. We did that Friday. What did we do on Wednesday? We did a launch on Wednesday. The circle, circles? Decorative yeah. circles? Yes. Decorative circles they were. Um, they were on Create and Craft as well. They'll be available they everywhere soon within 30 days they, yeah they should be on the Creek Craft website still but otherwise they'll be available on our site um well less than 30 days now probably about 20 20 odd days they'll be there um yeah Raquel says trick is to fold the paper first as well exactly yeah, yeah. if you don't fold it you don't get that neat finish there we are nearly done one more to go 
she is thoroughly enjoy your mates Alison you're also oh lovely. bless you and then Jean says I'm on holiday in Malta just found you on oh, Facebook oh lovely oh, it is lush Malta I like it I've never been to Malta oh, it's really really pretty okay so there's our lid and that will sit on the top so there's your two different shapes from the same die set and they are from your Venetian Amphora so the next bit I've got one more to show you are we okay for time I can't see the clock yeah. it over. that's fine we don't need 10 minutes right so I thought I would show you how to do the largest of our peridot box so this is the largest if I show you the largest, then you can work out the smallest. That's that was my my figuring around it. Let's pop that one away. And again, I'll show you exactly what I've cut and where I've got it from. Um, Kim said that impression sounded more northeastern than Papadlian. Um, I think you're mistaken, Kim. I think it was a perfect <laughs> impression. Go and watch that video, and think you'll find it. That was Liverpudlian I did. Okay. I looked away briefly and I thought that he was in you the thought room. Ringo Starr was in the room, yeah. didn't you? I See? thought, and then I turned back and it was just you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ringo Starr! Oh, oh. Oh, it's just, it's I thought it was it's Thomas so. the Tank Engine. <laughs> it's so. Right then. This funny little shape here is your base. And this even funnier shape is your top. You can get a lot out of this die set. Even though you're thinking it's a lot smaller and I'm probably not going to get as much. You will definitely so i am going to make an eight-sided box so we're going to have an octagon so i've started i have taped it let me push that away i've got my four sides and i've got my four bases so there we go there's my bases. So we'll start by oh I have no tape on there. We'll have a bit of glue instead. Then. So if you cut out all your bits you can lay them cut out. Cut your bits and, and you can see. So I folded all these lines. I've done all that beforehand. And again, just start glue everything flat. If you can glue it flat, do it. Because it makes life an awful lot easier. I thought I folded these and all. Again, I'm just folding all the lines before I start. I'm clearly not as organised as I thought, am I? Mm -hmm. So, and yeah, you will see. Like, if you are new to, recently new to die cutting, or or maybe, yeah, the dies can take all sorts of strange shapes to create these boxes. Um, but that's it. Yeah, look at the inspiration of things like that, and you're going to be able to see the the designs you get. Because it's not necessarily like a stamp where you can see straight no, up exactly. from the front. Exactly, exactly what you're going to be creating but all these dies they you know they're measured to the exact millimeter so they you don't need to do the measuring you can put them all together then these were designed by toby and toby loves nothing better than a strange shape <laughs> believe you me <laughs> so we're going to bring them round now just to make our base get rid of that and um, just to join even when you're joining these you can still put it flat on your on your worktop because it does make it easier putting pressure even onto the tape and things so there is going to be i got too many sides on you two four six no two four no i am right it just looked quite big so then we're going to take the the base bend your sides so it's a fold of the line the fold to the side of the the die and just keep going so again fold to the edge this is my favorite of the set says sue yeah i hope you're okay sue i haven't seen you in a little while uh, tangerine okay. Fields Forever, oh, it's biggest hit. That was one of my Tangerine Fields Forever. I love my Beatles, that's like. Yeah. There we go. 
again i mean you you are definitely going to take much more time with this than i am today Really done though. That's it, yeah, you can have like yeah, a ginger jar, they look a bit alike as well. It's just a just a curve to them as probably. Exactly. It's not often you get bits, yeah. paper curved like no, that. No. And if you any of you did have the cathedral box, you know what I mean? It was just like a crazy sort of curved shape, really different that was you know, an than, awesome than you see. Shape, I think. Right, so there is your base. The only thing you've got to put on now is that shape is not very good there, so we'll move that. So our base die is this one. And where have I had that from? So if we look on you, we've got three different tops, three different shapes. So the outer one is always going to be your base. So that is, oh, I haven't pressed these hard enough. The outer one here is the base for your octagon, the same for your hexagon, and the same for your square. There we are. So they do pop a little bit with the tape. And of course we've got the lights on you. But like I say, I would I would definitely wet glue them. Just taking all these bits of tape off. Right, when I'm making these, I like to keep everything neat and tidy inside and outside. So if you start on one side, do the, da the shape that's right opposite. So I got that one there. If I do that one there, and then I'm going to go diagonally opposite. And I know that is in the right place. And then, so I'm doing 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and then 3 and 9 o'clock. And then you can push them all together, and you know that that is your base. So there's the inside. I like to cover all the little bits you've got inside there. I like to put another, hex, uh, another octagon to cover them. So again, then it covers all your workings, makes people think, how have you put that together? So that's my base for this box. So now we're going to move on to the top. And again, I'm just folding all the fold lines and they all go inwards this time. Just to make sure I've done them. Uh, Debbie says, great boxes, we need to get these dies. Also, where can I get the lovely glass mat from? Well, this is the Tim Holtz glass mat. Uh, maybe available on the US store, depending on where you are in the world. Where are you, Debbie? And I'll tell you the best place you can get it. We have a, a tonic glass mat as well. Um, it doesn't have this mixed media element to it, but you know, it's just uh, it's got the, the layout and all the measurements in the same way. That's on the UK website. Yeah, let us know or email support at tonicifringstudios.com and we'll try and uh, direct you in the right place. Know on our web page shouldn't we I'm not sure. yeah yeah right so i'm looking at the bottom here and making sure that that is all lined up and again just with my four pieces in woken in surrey yeah oh, in, in the uk check our our uk store i'm not sure are we done have we got any on the store i'm not, I'm not sure we got any of the other tim holds on the store you know the glass mat i don't think so I don't think so. We've got uh, the tonic one, but we're always getting more in of the glass mat, so it shouldn't be too far away if it is. If you go on there, we've got a let me know when I'm back in stock thing, and we're going to be the first ones to get it back in stock because they'll come direct to our website first. So, yeah, just push that button, and then you'll know when it comes straight back in, and you'll be the first to know because once they're in, they're out. Same with same with deluxe adhesive, things like oh, that. Oh, deluxe adhesive just doesn't stay, right, no. does it? We, there was a, we uh, just love it. An Instagram, like in you know Mexico, using it, and she was showing them the, the deluxe adhesive, and I gave it wow. half a half. I was like, it's everywhere, you know? Right, so we're on the top now. So there's our base, and it will make a better shape as we go along. So your top. It is just exactly the same, work your way around. And it's the edge of the card to the fold. So around we go. 
I feel as though I'm going on a roundabout here. I mean, these look, the decoration on these, there were some stunning boxes made. Um, they looked like Moroccan style. You know, like they belonged in the bazaars. Like you, you could do some sort of, I don't know, someone said they were on the flute, like some sort of snake charming thing. You could. Where you had like have a snake attached to the lid, like that, and then you lifted it up and it would go, then you go, na, 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 and then the, you certainly and then the snake would rise up. There we are. So last one now. Just pop that inside. Oh, I can pull it back. And secure it at the top. So again, we've got a little opening in the top. And we've got our shape to fit that. So if you go, if you look on the dies and go down a little bit, there's another plain shaped one. That is the one to fit the top. So the biggest one of all fits the base. The next plain shape one fits the top. So last little bit to come off. And again, we've got some funny little tags on this one. Um, I've forgotten what they say now. I'm going to have to turn it over. A little bit of love and a little dose of happy. And I think that is, it's a lovely little sentiment. Yeah. You know, why would you not want to give someone a little dose of love? Hmm. Or a little bit, of, a little bit of love. We can make it through. A little box of love, sorry, and a little bit of a, oh god, a little dose of happy. I'm getting it all mixed up. Here, <laughs> glass. Right? It's them glasses, and uh, it is. They needed a better Steaming clean. Up. There we are. So there's my top in place, and again, I would stick another one to the inside, just to give it a little bit more sturdiness and a little bit more neatness your top then fits onto your bottom and comes out the same so the bigger you go so the next one up now is the hexagon the top kind of gets a little bit smaller uh, the top lifts a little bit and the bottom shows a little bit where this one tucks inside the next one goes like that and the bottom one then a little bit more the bottom you see that range of shapes so each one is a little bit different so if we pop that one together and then if i show you the other thing this looks like vicky said it the other night it's a dalek yeah. so if your son is into doctor who yeah. He would absolutely love a Dalek box. Or your honest, daughter. The pattern on the front of that first one looks a bit Dalek. -esque. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> it's it does. very Hoovian. It could go. Mm. Yeah, it would be probably good. Yeah. You know if you could get little wheels. Oh, that would be. And pop them on the bottom. The um, so as you can see from these, this is the eight-sided that I've just made. Then you've got the six-sided where you can see a little bit more of the base. And the four sided, you can see it a bit more again. So, the shapes you've got on the top as well will make little tags. You've also got the word in tags and your decoration for the box. So, again, a cram pack die set with lots of ideas. Definitely loads in there. So, hopefully, I've given you a few ideas. Okay. Do like now a that's ring. a rock. In that there. is a rock. That you is could a do rock. have like sweets in there, something like that. Or just ask them to marry you, I guess. There you go. <laughs> yeah, loads and loads in these sizes, as Ali's saying. Loads and loads of different different dyes. You can obviously make these awesome boxes, these creative shapes in there, really nice structures. And yeah, as in we, we were doing this quickly for the for the shows, but you can take your time and do take all that. Take your time and they you know, yours will be a lot more sturdier than mine now. Yeah. And you'll have them decorated as well. And you're not you're not doing all that measuring, you're not doing all that. That's all no. you just cut out your them and then you just piece it together and follow the instructions. And you can watch this video back as many times as you like. I say Christine said it's great to be able to communicate like this, uh, being in Florida and and even in Wales, yeah. It, it is. And I always ask a question. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? It's like it's amazing. And don't forget these panels make fantastic patterns in your card as well. You know, we tend to forget that bit. You know, we think of them just as a decoration for the boxes, but they're also good for your cards. 
Yeah, there's so many little bits and pieces there, and they've got a bit of a festive element to some of them. So you'll be able to use those, yeah, for Christmas and beyond. So all there for you. Um, they're still on Crate and Craft. They'll be on tomorrow as well, some shows. If you go on crateandcraft.com, you'll be able to go on their website, look back at their rewind service and all that stuff and, and catch up with that. We're back tomorrow for the daily, and then Friday we're on for Craft Battle. We'll do that 11 not sure what yeah well maybe do these or we'll do the we had memory books as well like a bit people wanted to see maybe a memory book page so maybe we'll just, i know i know i, I know everybody <laughs> i knew they would like <laughs> if it wasn't gonna be that other kaleidoscopes i thought there's always uh i know what people like to see so we'll have that and yeah we've got other stuff we've got lots of exciting stuff coming up uh tonic craft kit yeah it's ending soon so you've got probably about two days ish to get uh, get you get your craft to get or secure it if you're already subscribed or you've bought your one off you don't need to do anything it's just going to be dispatched on monday from the uk and us wherever you are um and it'll go out to you if you're from the uk to the rest of the world and if you're in the usa it'll just go uh to within the usa and that's it everyone have a great day uh, enjoy yourselves enjoy the rest of your evening wherever you are in the world and we'll see you all soon bye bye everyone bye bye, bye, -bye.